Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of Fix Your City. We are in City Skylines. The name of this city is Los Rico. 19,000 population, infinite money. Um, uh, this was, <laughs> I like the person's username, uh, Bilbo Baggins. Uh, that's a good one, nice. Uh, title is Help Please Biffa, and the description is Mess by Bilbo Baggins. So, um, downloaded this city off of the Steam Workshop, and I'm going to try to help uh, them out, and especially uh, see what the uh, traffic situation is like. Um, so, uh, let's, uh, let's get to it. Um, uh, first step, uh, and in this uh, video I'm going to be going through uh, kind of in a step format to make it uh, organized and help uh, help all, all you mayors out there uh, with your city. So uh, step one is check the traffic flow. So 36%, that is pretty rough. So uh, that is pretty low, so hopefully we'll be able to make progress on it. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of red. A lot of red. A lot of red. Red doesn't necessarily mean bad. It can mean just busy. Um, so that's step one. Step two, let's uh, take a look at traffic manager. Vehicle despawning. So there is no despawning, so that's great. They are playing on a more accurate, harder simulation. That's the way that I want to try to fix it as well. So that's good. And so what we're going to do is we're going to run the city for a few minutes. A few minutes game time. Um, or a few minutes actually real time, excuse me. And uh, see... Uh, what happens here? Um, the other thing that I will mention is um, looks like there these roads were connected into a road right here, and that did not come through. All right, so let's hit play, and then we'll we'll let it run for a little bit, um, and so. So that's step three is just let it run. So it's actually at 75%. That's one of the reasons why it's nice to kind of let it run to kind of see what happens. This is, um, it looks like there's no power. How do people on this side get over here? Oh, okay. Okay, got it. Let's pause it for a second because... Uh, there's there's no power or electricity where's the power producing stuff I don't really see any All right, let's. What do you got? What can you make? Or you can make the ocean thermal conversion. That's the best one to make. That's the best one to make. You need to have a road to put it on, though. There's a road over here, so we'll do that. So let's just do that. enough power for the whole city. Okay, and that's connected. This is not. And this is not. Uh, okay, that's connected. And that should take care of the rest. Okay, what about water? You're good on the water? Where's your pumping stations and stuff? I don't see that. Normally the water has arrows to show where the water is being pumped from. So we'll put some right here. should be enough there and then we'll do uh, distributing the water we'll do that up here all right 
right, so let's just hit play. Let's see if that fixes the water and electrical problems. Uh, there's not enough drainage capacity. Okay. So one more of these will be fine. There we go. Okay, so that'll take care of that. And then let's go back to the traffic. Let it run for a little bit. So the traffic isn't really that bad. It's actually pretty good. So uh, step number four is to take a look at whether the industry is concentrated, and it is. All the industry is right up here, and so that's where a lot of the jobs are created. So people here have to drive up here. So if you're here, you have to drive up there for work. It would be better to have some of the industry right here to lower their commute. That also reduces traffic. You also don't want industry to be all in one spot. So you want to diffuse and disperse. Uh, and so don't have it all at one spot. You want to uh, disperse some of that industry over here. Um, so that's one piece that I think will help. I'll see if I can just fix up the road system without it. Um, the population is shrinking. Uh, what is the unemployment rate? That's our next step. 25%. Holy moly. Uh, there's no Hadron Collider. You can't build that yet. Yeah. Um, do you have districts? You don't have districts. Okay. All right. Uh, that's interesting that the unemployment rate is that high. Do you have schools? Oh, you don't have schools. Oh. Okay, so that's, um... Uh, that's a little bit of a problem right there. Okay, so we got a couple of different issues. We got a couple of different problems. Um, I saw this intersection. That's wild. Um, I think that's kind of all I noticed thus far. Traffic is at 81. There is no despawning. So you don't really have much of a traffic problem. You really don't. But you have a lot of people just leaving. So let's, let's try to fix the city and not the not the not the traffic <laughs> all right um, uh, so one thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check the uh, traffic manager settings so that's the next step so let me uh, let me do that really quick All right, I uh, updated the settings. One of the things is to ena enable advanced vehicle AI and to uh, turn off st uh, stoplights from being created. Um, so we're good there. Um, and so is there, uh, next step is, is there mass transit? There is, um, but I think that upon load, it got all jacked up. It kind of, uh, So you have you have buses, but there's all these weird, sim, uh, the like the disconnect symbols on there. So I I did notice that. I I wonder if there's a glitch. I wonder if I reload the game if that will fix it. So let me uh, let me see if that will make a difference. 
All right, I did try reloading the game and those problems still existed. So we're back to what I was working on before where I've already fixed the, um, uh, the electrical and the power. Uh, so uh, so we're, we're back to where we were. Uh, we've got to stop the population drain and uh, the traffic is fine. So, um, so one of the things is trash. So there's 124,000 garbage being produced. There's uh, no garbage collection. So uh, I like using these recycling centers uh, from the Steam Workshop. So I want to place them kind of strategically. So this is industry. And so we'll uh, put some there. Um, it creates a lot of noise, so I, I don't want to put it right on the residential. So I, I kind of want to place it a little bit farther away. So there's a, there's a road right here. And oh, there's also a road right here. This would be a nice one. And I, it's always better to do the four-lane roads rather than the two-lane. Okay, let's put one right over here. So that'll cover that area. Uh, we have one to cover this area. to see where would be a good place to put this one. That seems good, so I'll cover that. Uh, this octagon. <laughs> I uh, I like the I like the design of this. That looks really nice. And then I've I've never seen this kind of interchange. That looks pretty amazing. And you've done a good job with the traffic, so I think you're okay there. So let's see here. We want to place it where there's already a lot of noise. So this seems to be a, a good spot. There we go. So that, that, that takes care of trash pickup. And then, of course, uh, there was an issue with uh, schools. So it'd be nice to put in the elementary school. Where's all the residential? You got a lot of residential here. So, um, probably a, a middle school right here. Oh, middle school. Elementary school right here would be nice. And then does that mean that there's no high schools either? There's no high school? So we'll just put it right next to it. There we go. I don't think that's enough. And then you probably want one right here. Yeah. And then probably an elementary school and a high school for over here. Oh, you know, this looks like there was probably a passenger rail right here and I guess it just got, it, it didn't either, I don't know if you destroyed it, or it it was a special mod, and so, uh, and that didn't come through. You want to list out the mods that you're using on the Steam Workshop so that when a person downloads it, they know what you're using. Um, I, I kind of think that the... I kind of think it should be over here. And I did that because um, the commercial generates noise, so to kind of create a, act as a buffer. Though you've got rail next to houses, that's going to create noise. 
Okay, so let's hit play. Let's let that go into effect. But I'm also seeing a lot of dead bodies. That's what the... Crossbones, skull. Um, so do you got anything to pick up the dead bodies? Oh, no. Oh, okay. So we want to do that. That will help out a lot. Um, let's try to pick some empty spots in your city to place it. It's kind of a empty spot right here. People don't like to live next to decaying bodies. And that's one. And we could use another one. Put it right next to the elementary school. That way people know, like, hey, you're going to die eventually. <laughs> um, oops. Here. Right here. Sure. There we go. It's going to be a very mature student body. And then uh, we'll do the other one. Is this a hospital? I can do it right next to the hospital. There you go. Wait. Is that a hospital? Okay, let's hit play. Kind of just need to let the city run a little bit. So high school capacity is fine. 2,000 and there's 1,900 eligible. We could use more elementary schools. And there's not a university, so we could use some of that. There's 738 sick citizens. Why are they sick? Oh, noise makes them sick. So, um, that could be a little bit of an issue. It's just going to take some time. But hopefully they'll stop the bleeding in the population. And I wonder if I can put like a passenger rail right here no I can't yeah um, shoot yeah I, I, at least the one that comes with the game is uh, different so I, I don't have that Unfortunately, I won't be able to help you out with it. I'll have to, I mean, I would have to destroy this area, and I kind of don't want to mess that up for you. Where, where do people go from there? Do they go here? They must go, like, right here. Oh, right on. I could probably hook that one, that part up. Cargo. That's probably cargo, unless you had it for people to work there. Looks like it's... I don't know if it was cargo or not. This must be the train station. Okay, that's the kind that you're using. Gotcha. Oh, that looks the same as this. I have no idea. Let's just let it run. These icons mean low land value. Yeah, I wish I could put something in there for you. But as the bodies get cleared out, <laughs> that will help you out.
How's everything else? It's a big interchange and it kind of just goes into a two-lane road. Uh, you know, if you expand this area, that probably will give you trouble. You know, probably it needs more capacity eventually. Wow, look at all this. There's a lot of crime. Fire? Do you have fire? Oh, you don't have any... Um, it, it seems like you don't have a lot of the services. When you have more services, like fire department, police department, it raises the land value because it means people want to live there. So we'll put a fire department right there, and then we'll put a fire department right here. And then do you have a police department? Anywhere? No. Okay, so um, we'll put one right here, and then what's a good place to put it? Maybe like right here. So it just looks like um, you've done a good job with traffic. You got some interesting designs, but you're citizens your sims they 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 need services to enjoy living in the city there's 144 crime so there's you know you wouldn't want to live in a place that has a lot of crime right So I, I think that's good, and people are starting to come in. So that's good. And what is this? Too few services, of course, yeah. I'm working on that for you guys. Working on that. So garbage... We could use one more garbage collection place. Or it may, it may just take some time, actually. I mean, the production is higher than the processing capacity, but it's not too bad. How's the unemployment rate? Oh, look at that! Huge reduction in the unemployment rate. That's great. How are we doing on six citizens? There's a lot of six citizens. Let's take a look at the sound. Where you see red is where there's a lot of sound. It's always good to keep the homes away from the sound. Wow, population's collapsing. What's your tax rate? Oh, it's reasonable. So, you know, one of the, one of the other um, uh, steps um, is, you know, if, if garbage collection is concentrated, you didn't have that. Um, if the cargo rail have long wait lines, they don't. Otherwise, eventually when they do, you'll want to build a, um, a, what's called a waiting line or a queue line. Um, And then, you know, do you have any highway intersections that are really backed up? No. I mean, the population is very low. So, um, you know, look at the low land value. Amazing. Yeah, it's, it is. We're watching a city kind of collapse before our eyes.
It's a very fancy network, road network. I think it's kind of overkill. I don't think you need really any of that. One of the questions that I have is if I'm going on this road, Magnolia Highway, how do I work over here? I take this, I take this roundabout, I come over here. It's a long ways. There should be just like uh, an exit ramp right here. So it's, it's a, it's, um, it could be simpler. It could be simpler. Maybe creating like an exchange right here. Oh, look at that. Global happiness. People hate living here. Um, do you have parks? No parks. Here. Um, this creates an entertainment of 150. Two of them. That's just to kind of make people happy. So those are parks. Um, and the population has collapsed, so we don't need as many elementary schools. Now, I don't know if there was like a road connection right here between these two sections. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But how about we make one? extensions road Highway ramp. Nice. Okay, no problem. Just like that. And like this. Just a lot of roundabouts. I don't think you need all that. Right. How are we doing? Terrible, right? Yeah. Everybody left. They have power and water and electricity, so they decided to leave. Oh, but look at the happiness. Hold up. Oh, that made a big change. It made a big change. Let's try to keep on working on that, shall we? What else, uh, what else is really super... Carousel Park. that it's 
right next to the water. There we go. Just to try to increase the happiness a little bit. The amount of dead people is less. They're getting picked up. So if we look at dead people, we can still see skull and crossbones, but not as bad. There's only 11, 10 dead people, so they're all getting picked up. Healthcare, six citizens, so they're plummeting. So that's good news. So the city is on the right track. Oh, but it could use a university, right? How's your unemployment? 24%. It's not good. I've noticed that there's no office space. You can use a little bit of office space. In fact, Office space creates jobs and doesn't uh, create any noise. So it's a good way to separate commercial from your residential. Oh, oh, what's going on here? There's a bus route. Okay, they're getting ridden on, great. This one has 18 vehicles, though, and nobody's riding it, so let's change that. And nobody lives in the city anymore, so it doesn't need as many. It's just kind of taking up a lot of valuable road space. And maybe there was people riding it before, but obviously some of the assets did not come through. And so that's kind of messed it up a little bit. It's good that you use mass transit. I mean, that's smart. So, I mean, how's the happiness? 56%. Great. How about we put a park over here? Just creates a hundred happiness. Entertainment value a hundred. Let's do that. How big? Oh, that won't fit. Gotcha. There we go. And put it in some of these homes that are busted. There. Let's try to ramp up the happiness a little bit. Look at this, no, these are huge. It's a nice open space right there, good place for it. Just to try to increase the happiness, make it more attractive for people. How about we go fast on the speed and see what happens with the population. Because it looked like it bottomed out, whatever, something like 4,000. And now it's rising back. It's going to be like a phoenix rising from the ashes. I would like to get your city back to where it started. I mean, population-wise, back to where it started from. And then I, I think I'm going to put in a different 
interchange right here. You want better access for this road, for these, this industry. All right, you can see that buildings are getting rebuilt. Yeah, like that. Building is getting rebuilt. And then what about homes? Can we see any homes getting rebuilt? None. Oh yeah, there's one. Oh, it's a corner shop. It's a commercial. Any homes? Poplar residence? Yeah, okay, great. So it's, it's coming in. It's coming in gradually. But happiness has definitely improved. So once we put our university in, that will have a nice, nice positive impact. Um, let's take a look at land value. You know, there were those signs of like bad land value. And uh, I don't see those signs as much anymore. They're, they're still there. There's 260, but not as bad as it was previously. Population is really exploding, so that's good. We want to put in a university eventually. Um, right here. And this is your most populous place, so this would be really the spot to put it. it. Doesn't create any noise pollution. Where's like a really dead part of the city? How about right here? How are we doing on traffic? 86%. I mean, it's not even a worry. Unemployment? 8. That's kind of... 3 is what you're really targeting in the game. Just got to keep on letting it run. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll let it run for a little bit and then I'll be back. All right. So I've let it run for a little bit. You can see that the population, has, it's still not back to where it was. It's going to get there. But look at the demand for residential. So it's the opposite of before where everybody was leaving, uh, which is great news. Look at the unemployment. There's a demand for people. There's a lot of jobs here now. So that's been fixed. Uh, traffic is at 83%. Happiness. Um, I mean, it'd be nice for it to be a little bit higher, but it's, it's, it's pretty good. And so... One of the best things to do would be to, uh, there's a, this is industry, there's a big job pool here, and so there should be some residential here uh, to, uh, to supply the jobs. Um, so uh, I'm gonna replace, and then this has uh, difficult uh, access. So I'm actually gonna redo this part and uh, put in some better interchanges to help out. So let's go to town.
So you can find this on the Steam Workshop. This is my highway intersection. So look for In Your Face G highway intersection. I want it a little bit more farther. There, that's good. There we go. Keeps that underground road going where, wherever it was going. There we go. Um, and then it would help your city, of course, to have um, road that's underground where does this go oh just to here okay yeah uh, so I'll, I'll show you what we can do there just um make it simpler and more effective at the same time all right so we're gonna put another one here So it's got integrated paths, integrated rail. Kind of want to tilt it like that, right there, bam. Hook it up, can you connect down below? Oh. There we go. There we go. We can make this pretty. Connect up the uh, frontage roads. They really help with access and traffic flow. Bam. There we go. Excellent. And then um, this connection right here, I don't think this is really necessary. Um, but trucks can go up here and come here. So I think there's nothing necessarily wrong with that. I don't want to make, I've already made a decent change. I don't want to make it too drastic. Um, but you can see like this is much simpler. Um, I kind of want them to just come, come through here. And they've got this highway that they can access. I'll leave, um... I'll leave some of it. I can connect this over here. That would be a good place to put it. Why can't it do that? It said space already occupied.
There we go. Okay, well that keeps most of that intact. And then we can bring this in to there. So it keeps some of your original road system intact, so I think that's good. Um, and then what we can do is... Bring this right into uh, the frontage road. I think that's nice. If they want to come to the roundabout, they have this spot to go to. And we can connect. Oh, no, 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 no. Didn't mean to do that. work. It's kind of a sharp turn, but it, it is actually too sharp of a turn. <laughs> That's too sharp of a turn. That's insane. There, that's a little bit more palatable. And so there's this connection. There we go. There you go. That kind of hooks up those two spots and then we can put residential right here because there's a huge need. Um, so I think that's good. Let's uh, uh, terminate these uh, frontage roads though. way. That's a uh, city where uh, you drive on the left side of the road. So I'm trying to make sure I don't make a mistake right there. All right. I think that's good. See, you've got all of this action happening. Again, I think that's really overkill. I think you can just have two roads connecting the two. Um, but, uh, oh, I don't know if there was a road that went like that or something. Maybe? I don't know. Uh, it, it's just very complex. If people need to hit the frontage road, they can. So that's good, actually, right there. Um, so I think I've hooked up all of the roads, and then we need a lot of residential. So uh, let's, uh, let's build some of that, shall we? So always want to do the four lane. farther back. 
Let's do, uh... And do a pretty big section right here. That's good. And let's um big section and what you can do is you can have some commercial there's no real need for that right now so we won't do a lot and then you can do some offices to deaden the sound It's a big section. So let's hit play and see if people start moving in. Yep, yeah, you can see people are starting to move in. There won't be any electricity here. Oh, jeez. What just... Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. I built this and it... That's right, that's right. should take care of it and we'll I notice that there's a water issue here okay so we've the city has uh, grown enough to where there's not enough water so I want to put in another some more water pumping. Oh no, there's plenty of water pumping. I don't I don't get it. Let me give it some time. There's plenty. Plenty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I just didn't give it enough time. That new area needs power. There we go. And it will need water. build it that way but for speed I'm kind of doing that and then um, I want to hook it up there we go so I think that's good and then while we're at it how's garbage there's a lot more garbage production so we want to put some garbage uh, collection here and so we can definitely do that and then elementary school it would be good for us to have an elementary school there. And it looks like they really could use one right around here. And that will help the happiness. There's an open spot right here. Bam. So maybe we can put one right here. 
And then they probably will need a middle school. Um, maybe not. Maybe not. These people could use one right around here. We have enough capacity, but that's kind of building it up for the future. So, how is the status of death pe dead people? 17 deceased, so we're fine there. Um, how's the status of healthy folks? Six citizens, 368, capacity 600, so we're fine there. So all that stuff looks good. Pr uh, jail capacity, we could use uh, some more of that. And then there's a decent fire hazard. So we should put some fire around here somewhere. How about like right next to the school? Space is not being used. So I think that's good. And so a lot of trucks are using that, great. Traffic flow is 85%. Uh, that's the only red spot I see. Not that bad. It's fine. Can you see this? Just delete that. Okay. Population is at 11,400. This area that we put in has, is starting to build out. Um, we want them to be happy, so we probably want to put in some kind of park or plaza or something. So you, you got a couple of cool things here. They cause a lot of noise pollution. But they'll bring in some tourists. Maybe you can put one right here. I'll leave that space. You can put in a metro. So that'll help a little bit with the happiness. Maybe a, a park or something? Maybe like in this corner? Yeah, it fits in just nicely. Beautiful. Just trying to help with the happiness that's going to make the city attractive. People should be coming in. I haven't really set up this uh, roundabout properly, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. So, intersection signs. You can block the box. You can block the box. You cannot block the box. You can. Yep. And you cannot. So that's setting up the oval about properly. We'll do this one too. So blocking the box is where you can enter the intersection. If you're on the roundabout, yeah, you can enter the intersection. If you're not, you cannot. So there are people walking. You can see people are walking. So if you work, if you live here, you can just take that and walk across. It's one of the nice things about it, uh, about the interchange. I think it's the best highway interchange, or intersection, excuse me. Oh man, this video is much longer than I had anticipated. Sorry about that. I'm trying to get your population back up. Why is it that the city isn't making any money? What are your policies? Let's do this. turn a profit. We got plenty of money, so we're okay. 
and we're already at demand for residential. Says that we've got still more of an elementary school need. Oh, not that bad. 1,600 eligible, 1,500 capacity. That's not that big of a deal. But let's kind of uh, plan this out for future expansion here. You know, uh, this should probably connect up here. Or down here. Yeah, let's just let's connect it there. Bam. That's good. You want to diffuse and disperse. You want to have multiple ways. If somebody lives here, now they can go to the right side from this road or this road. So diffuse and disperse. Spread them out across more roads, more choices. So I think that's good. something in here. Yeah. Right on. Fit something in here. Great. So, this can actually be Residential, residential, and then we can have uh, some some homes right here. There we go. Now ah, they need water. So people are happy. It's growing. There's demand for residential. Unemployment rate is super low. Traffic, 84%. Looks like we do need a little bit more uh, trash collection. like it's it's a thing <laughs> what's over here commercial you know it probably be nice to get rid of these homes and it'd be good to put it over here office space
Wow, look at how fast everything is building up. Is this place getting visitors? Not that many. So, you know, these this uh, in intersection, like, it's just much simpler, easier to follow, easier to see what's happening with the cars. You can put in rail in between there if you want. So I think you're looking good. Yeah, I don't, and I, I mean, traffic is great. I mean, obviously the population is much lower, but in this case, the city is not collapsing. So it's in, in a really good position for growth. Um, how many cops, how many police departments are there? Is there just one? Yeah, there's just one. Oh no, there's two. Um, be good to put one over here. Maybe like right, uh, right here. And th these guys probably need some kind of park or entertainment. Maybe we can pop that right in this corner. I wouldn't mind connecting these two roads right here. Now there's these businesses that say not enough workers because the unemployment rate is so low. So I think that's good. Happiness has significantly improved. There's water. There's electricity. The city is growing. Uh, there's um, much better services, trash pickup, education, health care. And you can just kind of expand from there. So we can then you can put commercial up on that, and then you can put offices for the sound. There's just not a lot of demand for that. Just, they just need workers. There's so many jobs available. There's so much residential. I mean, you can, you can expand this city like mad. You really, really can. Wow. Impressive. You can definitely do it. You, uh, so I, I think your city is good. I mean, I think you did a decent job. Just the services were needed. And once you do that, you're... You're in good shape. That whole spot, yeah. So I think that'll be the last batch that I'll build. And then I'm gonna save it and that'll be it. Look at how fast. 
when the demand is ridiculous. Just businesses need workers. And they're actually shutting, the businesses are shutting down because they can't find enough workers. Not enough educated workers. So we can definitely put in a middle school. Bam. You want to have a college here too? No, we don't need one at all. The capacity is insane. But probably another elementary school over here. You know, this place really needs one. Oh, this is a nice open spot. Let's do that. There. A little bit too sound right here. You know, there are probably residences next to commercial. Not enough buyers for products. Yeah, because some of the commercial buildings ran out of business. I, th I This is what I think. I think it's because some of the commercial buildings ran out of business because they couldn't get workers. But I think that'll all stabilize as the city gets back to its regular size, starts to get healthy again. Or, I mean, it is healthy, but as it continues to grow, it'll st everything will stabilize. I think we're good. I mean, it's it's growing really rapidly. I mean, there's constant demand for residential. So, I think that's a great spot to finish at. Uh, so, we're close to the original population. It's obviously well on its way. It's profitable, so that's, that's good, as it should be. And then, as more people move in, uh, that'll help it out. And then, um, uh, the, the, the land value... Uh, you know, I, there's not signs for extremely low land value, so that's great. Um, and then, now that so many people like the city, you can raise taxes a little bit. You know, it's nine, which is a little bit on the low side. You can raise it up, you know, percentage or two, or even maybe slightly more, and just kind of see what the, um, the, the, the good spot is for your city. But, so, it's profitable. People are happy. They got the services. It's growing, so... It's in a it's in a good shape, or it's in good shape. So uh, thank you so much for uploading it. Appreciate the opportunity to work on it. Hopefully this helps you and helps uh, uh, everybody else that watches the video. Uh, I do live stream. The schedule is in the description below. Stop by, say hello. Uh, please like the video. Smash that subscribe button. Turn on notifications. Tell people you know about the channel. Thank you everybody for watching. Take care of yourselves. Bye bye.